Welcome to my morning in the life, not day in the life, morning in the life of an entrepreneur slash author. Okay, so I woke up like this. <laughs> so y'all, I have on the jewelry that my mom gave me. If you don't know, my mom passed away. So like I only wore the jewelry, wear the jewelry that she gives me or she gave me. Um, so these earrings she gave me when I was 16, right? And this necklace she gave me when my grandmother died. So like I wear it to sleep, I wear it to the gym, I never take it off. Like it's on me 24-7 because I just make it just makes me feel like she's with me 24-7. So this is my face. We're about to do I brush my teeth already, but I'm about to wash my face. I have one of my little thingies to catch the water. It's in my Amazon store if you need them. And we're just going to wash my face. I love this face wash. This is from Pacifica Beauty. It's a very gentle face wash. It's oat milk and flowers. Oat and flower milk, right? So I love this in the morning. So I'm about to wash my face. And then I do my skincare. I'm going to do my skincare with y'all. And while I'm doing my skincare, we're going to talk. We're going to chat. We're going to do all of the things, right? But let me wash my face first. Hold on. It does lather, by the way. It lathers. People were like, oh, it doesn't lather. Yes, it does. <laughs> so, I think I wanted to talk about things that I have learned as um, an entrepreneur slash author slash old girl that still has a job. Okay. <laughs> um, just lessons that... I wish that I would have known ahead of time and to not stress out about, right? So, like, I talk about it in my book. Get used to freaking saying no. It is okay to say no to people. And you know how I knew when I wasn't saying no to people anymore? When I started getting um, eczema patches on my face. I'm going to put up a little video where you're going to see it. So, y'all don't think I'm making this up but listen get accustomed to telling people no right because what it does it puts more stress on you you start thinking you got to satisfy people you become a, peop a people pleaser and it's like why right and i noticed my face started breaking out i would have the patches here and here um underneath my nose stress for what because you wasn't saying no to people like girl why why all right so i'm about to go get my I'm about to go get my facial wipes because I don't use rags to, um, I don't use rags to dry my face after I wash my face. And I washed my lashes last night while I was in the shower. So the lashes are clean. Okay, you're wrong. But look at, y'all see the redness? Stress. Okay. Don't be stressed out for nobody at no point nowhere okay um let me go get my facial wipes please help <sighs> stress is not good for your body i start saying no to people it got way better because it was it used to be so white like right here right here used to be white i used to go to work pissed off because i'm like this is not my skin my skin my skin does not look like this okay <laughs> um but yeah so say no to stress. That's number one. We're going to do five things, right? The next thing is some of us get so attached and um, goal focused on the goals and uh, what we want to aspire to be, but you're letting your body completely go, right? You're not paying attention to what is making your body allergic to things. You're not paying attention to what's making your stomach bloated. You're not paying attention to what you're actually allergic to. You're thinking a little bit of itching here and there is just seasonal changes. No, boo. Something you ate that's giving you minor itching that's making you think that it's seasonal changes. No. You're allergic to something. Figure out what that is. Or some of us, we want a man so bad and still don't know ourselves. Still don't know that that moisturizer that you're using is what's giving you acne. Did you hear what I'm saying? 
Did you hear what I just said? So now I'm about to put my toner. This is from um, Trader Joe's. It's the Rose Water Toner from Trader Joe's. Um, I didn't feel like going to get my wipes to wipe it on my face because it's a spray bottle. So I'm just spraying it literally in my hands and I just pat my face with it, wipe it on, put it everywhere, right? That's my toner. Y'all wanna know what also gives me like the eczema on my face? Um, certain pre-workouts. So for me, um, What's the famous pre-workout that everybody be using? Be like, oh my gosh, this is so great. This is so great. No, that thing made me have eczema on my face. And when I stopped it, I was like, wow. <laughs> okay. Um, What is the name? of? Oh, EHP Labs. Their pre-workout. I'm not going to lie. Their pre-workout, it tastes so good. But it was breaking out my face. Like eczema was showing up on my face. And I was like, wow, this got to stop too. Like, when I tell y'all, I am extremely sensitive to stuff. So now I'm using my Good Molecules Brightening Serum. She is their girl. Okay. My face cleared up so nicely. Pay attention, y'all. The other thing I want to talk about is having a business <laughs> is not for the week, honey. Okay. It is not for the week. But... This is why a lot of the times I tell people, pay attention to what to what God wants you to do. Because me per se, like, don't get me wrong. I love fashion. Fashion is my girl. I used to use fashion to, how do you say this? Like, indirectly fight people. Because people used to try me all the time. Oh, Dana's so nice and sweet. Dana's this, Dana's that. And then turn around and they trying to play me. And then when I would show up looking good at whatever event, all of a sudden we buddy, buddy. All of a sudden you want to be close to me. No, baby. Back the fuck up. Okay? That's not what we do. So, like, having a business is not for the week. Okay? You're going to have times where your business, right now I'm using um, niacinamide serum. And I only realized that my skin liked this because one time my skin was going through so much and my mother had bought me um, the Gold Bond. And I realized in Gold Bond lotion, it has a ton of niacinamide in it. And I was like, maybe I should put that on my face and it'll make a difference. And it did. Okay. So I crowned this serum from Gold Molecules. It wasn't too expensive. It didn't break my pockets. And I was like, oh yeah, we finna... And is and is now we lit okay um so back to my story now i'm about to use my lightweight daily moisturizer from gold molecules okay and so yeah fashion was is still my way of indirectly fighting people back when they try me and it has always worked and at one point i used to talk so badly about fashion shows i used to be like um, these designers are wasting so much money on these fashion shows. They don't make no sense. Da 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 da. I was like, designers are shallow. Da 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 da. And then what did I become? A freaking designer. And I had to learn like, fashion is not shallow. Fashion literally is art displayed on the runway in feelings and emotions. Literally. Then when I did my own fashion show. I did exactly that. I expressed feelings and emotions in the clothing, in everything, in my models, in the background videos. And let me tell you, I, when it was time to get off the runway with my models, I couldn't even walk because it was like, girl, your fashion show literally told a story no designer has ever done that before to the point where the story is told and captivates the audience in addition to the audience understanding the message because some people were like some of the times you have to kind of ask the designer what was the um 
the point of the collection one person was like girl nobody had to ask you that because it was very obvious it wasn't like what is she trying to say it wasn't it was very obvious and i'm not gonna lie there are times when i will get big orders sometimes orders are 150 dollars sometimes orders are 200 and change and then there are times when i have no orders at all and i have to trust that god has my back right so i guess what i'm trying to say is that if you're going to pursue anything just be mindful that it's not going to be easy it's going to be hard but make sure that you are walking in your purpose that god has set out for you or else you will be walking mindlessly trying to figure out is this the thing that i'm supposed to be walking in is this my purpose is this correct right oh y'all sorry that was what i was putting underneath my eye is the good molecules wake up eye gel this thing is so sexy oh um it reduces signs of puffiness and plump and all that fun stuff now i'm about to put on my chapstick my chapstick for the morning is very simple i don't like glossy lips in the morning but i do like it throughout my day but starting off in the morning i i will put on like a regular chapstick that's not too glossy it's just chapstick um just can get me started now with eos this chapstick you gotta like to get the moisture on so hold on And that is my morning routine. So I hope you guys liked my morning vlog of an entrepreneur sass author. Let me know if you want me to do some more of these. This is the end result of my morning skincare routine. I love you guys. Bye.